Good evening to you all. Today is our day four of this three month data analytics bootcamp 2.0. Like I said, this bootcamp will last for three months, and today is our day four. Uh, like always, we start by showing our outlines. That is what we are to cover for the day. These are our outlines. We'll have a recap on day three. Then we'll talk about how to insert a row and column. We'll talk about how to delete row and column. Then we'll discuss about text wrapping. And the last thing we are going to talk about today is match and center. These are the five uh uh, outlines that we are going to cover for today. Uh, if you can recall yesterday, uh, we did discuss about table customization and serial number. I told you table customization has to do with, you know, customizing your table, making it looks good by changing the font style, font size, aligning it, and do a lot of things to make it outstanding. That's what we did in related to table uh, customization. That's what we did yesterday. So today we are going to discuss about, uh, and we also talk about serial number. I've shown you two ways of um, uh, kind of, of inserting serial number by dragging, by writing one and drag it. Then you select fill series or by uh, writing one and two and highlight it. Then you drag it down. It will give you the serial number the way you want it to be. So today we are going to discuss about we are going to discuss about how to insert column and row. That's what we are going to discuss about. So I will show you how to insert column and row and how to delete column and row. And then we'll discuss about this text wrapping. I will just talk about this text wrapping and uh, match and center before I move to uh, the uh, Excel file. You see, text wrapping has to do with wrapping your text to fit a particular cell to wrap your text to fill a particular text. That's what text wrapping is all about. If you can look at uh, Excel, you see that uh, when you are writing, for example, you write something that is uh, kind of uh, uh, too lengthy or is kind of uh, too much, you see it goes beyond the cell. Then it will enter maybe the next cell or maybe it will go beyond two to three cells in front of that particular cell. So when we talk about text wrapping, like I said, it has to do with you trying to fit that particular cell in that particular text in that particular cell that you are writing on. So that's what this text wrapping is, so that you might, you kind of uh, uh, fit it there and the text will be there. That's what text wrapping is. Margin center has to do with margin two or more cells together to give you one single cell. That's what match and center means. To match two or more cells together to become one single cell. That's what match and center is all about. And I will show you all how to do that and why you need to do that in today's video. So let me open my Excel so that we'll start the practical. Okay. okay, I hope you can see my screen, please. Yeah, so let's talk about how to insert a row and column. That's what we are going to discuss about today. So for you to insert a row, uh, let's start with the column. If you want to create a new column, let's say, for example, here, we want to create another column that has to do with LGA there in front of state. But take note, if I want to put a column between states and qualification, then I have to come here inside qualification and select the entire column. But if I want to put it between gender and state, I have to come in, inside state and click on it like this and insert it. So when you are inserting column, you always insert it, insert it from the left hand side. It inserts from the left hand side. So if you want it from the right hand side, then you, you need to come 
the one that is going to uh, that at the end of it for example now i want to put it between qualification and this then i'm going to come here if i want to between qualification and state then i will come here if i want to between this and this i will come here that's how it works so let's put it between state and qualification just click on this i told you how to highlight the entire column when we did that uh who saw in excel so just click on it here and right click after you click on it just right click when you click right click just click on right click i'm sorry just wait for it is my excel that is uh my pressure. sorry yeah so it's just show so but i i'm not going to do it now let me just do it again you see just right click on it and click on insert when i click insert it will automatically create new column between state and qualification for us so that's what this insert is all about and if i want another one i can just click on it here and add another one it will create another one for me so that's how to create a column new column in excel if for example let me show you something if i want to create two columns now it's two I want to create two empty again. I can highlight these two. I will just drag it here, highlight the two, right click and click inside. It will create two more for me than it will be four. You see, now we have four. If I want to have eight, I can highlight the entire four, right click and click inside. Then it will create eight for me. It's going to be eight now. So this is something that has to do with creating new column in Excel. So just right click on it and just click on insert, it will create new one for you. So that's it, that's how to do it. The next thing is to create a, a, a row. So to create a row, like I told you, just click here, just for example, select the entire row and right click on it and click insert. So row will always create a new one above, that is on top of the one you selected. That's what it's going to do for you. So now it will create a row between two and one it will create empty row between them so now if i click on it i click inside you see we have another cell that is kind of above this one if i come here under i want between two and three i want to create one then i will come to three right click on it click inside then i will create between two and three i have empty cell as you can see so this is how you create a row and how you create a column in excel it's very very simple it's not something big but just understand how it works this one uh create new on top and this one create new on right or uh, left hand side not right left hand side okay the next thing is how to delete row and column so to delete a row and column just select it the way you select and create another one that how you select and delete the one you want to delete so now i created two i have e and f i want to create delete this i'll just right click on it and click delete you see the delete just click on delete. It will delete it for you. You see, I just deleted it. If I want to delete this one also, I will just click this. Then I will right click. I will click delete. Then I deleted it. And that's all. If I want to delete this one, I will right click it. And I will delete it. If I want to create another one, I will right click and insert it. That's how you create and that's how you delete. So I'm going to create LGA. Like I said, let me just create LGA like this so that we will have a LGA in this. So this is something that you need to understand. It's not something big, it's very, very simple. So let's talk about this uh, text wrapping, how to wrap a text. Let's say I want to create, I want to write local government area. Look at it, we, we just see government. Why are the rest, the rest are under. So it's, it's too much now. We can't see the rest, but we want to see the rest. So how can we do it? In order for you to wrap this text in, the text is too much, you see? Is more than this particular uh, E. And I don't want to increase the size. You see, if I increase the width, it will just have local government like this. No, I don't want that. I want it to be like this, but I want to increase the, I want to wrap it to kind of merge it to be in, to wrap it in the same uh, cell. I don't want it to go out of this uh, particular width. I want it to be fit in this. How to do it is, you on top of here, on top of your uh, this menu bar inside home, you see this wrap text here. You see this wrap text. You see it. Just click on wrap text. Just click on it. You see, when you click on it, it will wrap the text. Now you see local government. But yeah, why we are seeing, we are not seeing it clearly is because is because of the is because of the height of the cell. It's because of the height. 
So we want to increase the height a little bit. You see, now we have local government area. You see, we have T here. So I can increase it a little bit so that the T will be at the top. You see, we have T at the top and this is how it's supposed to look like. Local government area. So we wrap the text. But if we didn't wrap it, if I remove the wrap, you see, it will go back like this. If I wrap it, it will be like this. It will, you see, this is what this text wrapping is doing. Whenever you have a text that is longer than the width of the cell, then you can fit it in that cell by clicking on wrap text. Then it will wrap it for you and you will work. Uh, you will continue your work. Please take note on this. It's very, all these are very essential. It's a very essential things. Please understand all this. I knew one lady that's doing uh, this NGO in time just last month. They asked her on this, and she have she has no idea how to do this text wrapping. So you see, sometimes you are opportune to get interview in such type of organization. You will pass all these practical, or oh, I say they call it, uh, yeah, practical interview. You will pass it, and that's what they want from you. So please understand this and learn to work with it. Try as much as you can to practice all this. So the last thing we are going to talk about is match and center. I've told you match and center is when you want to match two or more cells to be one cell, to become one cell. That one you use match and center. So of course we are going to use match and center just now. Let's see how we are going to do it. For example, now, under this, uh, what? I just want to create something for you. I just want to create something so that we will just have a, this this margin center on the it. So now I will just delete this. I'll just delete this. I don't want to do something. Yeah. So now let's say I want to create, I want to match this particular column. I want to match this particular D and E. I want to match them. So I will highlight this. I will highlight the two. I will highlight the two. Then you create, you see this match and center here. On, uh, uh, you see wrap text and match and center is under it. Just click on match and center. You see, now I match it. What this means is that this particular cell that I call, for example, let me just say uh, address. For example, let me just call it address. So this address column, now is it has two columns under it. Let's say, for example, I want to create state LGA and I want them to be under address. So I match this one and one to be what? D and E is the same now. And I create two under it like this. So if I want, I, then I'm going now to match all this here. Or oh, that is, I'm going to match them horizontally now since. This is supposed to be for this, all of it, and this is supposed to be for this, but this is going to take only one and this two. So now let me just match this serial number. I just match it. You see, I match this. All this has to do with this match and center. You see, it. I match it and I match this one. So this is something that you need to understand when it comes to this match and center. So it means now I create a table whereby this is one, this is one, this is one, but this has subheaded. It has state and LG, and this is how you are going to fill it, state and LG. I hope you understand this. So if, for example, now let's say this is, uh, let me remove this. If you want to remove my data, click it back. Now let's say, for example, this is, let's say English. For example, I just want to call it English. For example, we want to put uh, under this English, we want it to be uh, for CA and uh, exam. Let's say with total, but I want it to be CA and exam. I want to put exam max and CA max on that here. Then I need to create another. I need to create another column since I want it to be like this. So I will just come here, click here. Then I will create another one. Then I will match this, match and center. Just click on this. Then I have this for CA. I have this for exam. So you see, under this English, I'm going to add the border since there is no border there. Under this English now, let me center it. Under this English alone, we have what? We have CA, we have exam marks. So now I can just reduce it a little bit. You see, you see, we reduce it. So now we have an English CA exam mark. And this is one single column. You see, if I highlight it from the top, it will highlight the entire column. It has CA, it has 
exam. So please, this is how you are going to create all this. You are going to have a uh, test or individual assignment related to all this. I'm just giving you an expo. So please go and ma master this. Learn how to merge it. Learn, learn how to master it. Uh, create all these kind of tables that has to do with two columns or three columns or four columns. Please learn how to do that because you are going to have that. So you see, our serial number begins from here. You see, we have this. Somebody who don't get confused. This is one and two. So it takes serial number. This is one and two because we merge it. This is one and two. But this is one and this is two because we have sub of this. That way we have under address, we have state, we have LGA, under English, we have CA, we have exam. Then under that of birth is single because we don't have sub of date of birth. So we are going to leave it like this. So this is how it's going to look. And this is how the table is going to look like. So please try as much as you can to rewatch the video and learn how to do all this merge and center. Sometimes, like I told you, you can merge two or more cells to become one cells. If I want to match, for example, this, let me say, I want to create a, uh, uh, let's say a header. I want to create a header for the entire table. Maybe I'll just call it um 2023 slash 2024 list of participants of data analytics would come. For example, I like this. You see, this text that I just write is under A. It's under A1. In A2, there is nothing. In C1, C2, all of them, there is nothing. So now if I want it to take all this particular, okay, let me just increase it for you. You see, this is how it is. It's just here. Here, there is nothing. So if I wanted to take all this, that is from A to H, I'll just highlight it like this and match it. You see, I match everything. Then I will middle top align it. I can increase it. I can bold it. I can put times new Roman. You see, this is this is how it's going to look like. So I, I put, I match all this from A to H to B1 because this is the header of the entire table. So please take note on this. This is how it looks like. And this is how you can uh, do it and create it. Yeah. So I think this is where we're going to stop. If you want to remove it, just click here. It will go out. You see, it's only here. If I put S here on that view, and so it just take that one uh, alone. So now this is it. If I want to merge it, I'll just highlight it up to the head. I'll highlight it, then I'll put the border. And that's all. I create a table like this with the header 2023 to the list of participants of would come. This is how you create a table and using this margin center to make it look outstanding. So this is exactly where we are going to stop today also. So if you have a question, please write your question in the chat. I will answer it for you. If you have a question, please, you can ask this where we are going to stop today also. If you have a question, you can ask. If you don't, then you have enough time to kind of practice. I will upload the video. Sorry about yesterday. I forgot. I uploaded the video. I forgot uh, up to when I slept until today. I saw somebody's message that I forgot. Please, I will drop it uh, very soon in the next maybe one hour. I will drop it. Please, if you didn't see the link in the next one hour, somebody should talk to me private. I will drop it. Maybe I can forget. Please, because immediately after this, I have some other meetings, I have other works to do. So if you didn't see it after one hour, please, somebody should remind me. I'll drop the link for you so that you will watch the video and see how to do it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Manel. So please, you should, yeah, I will drop the video so that you will watch it and yeah, so that you will see how the wrapping is also. But I've already told you, the wrapping has to do with, you see this this header that I just created, I merge it now. If I want to wrap it, for example, I, cl I can click this one. I don't want to merge it, for example. If I wrap it now, you see this is how it's going to be. Then I need to increase the height. 
you see it is going to be kind of too wide you see this is how it's going to be so you you can't do it like that that way is better you can't wrap this then you are going to leave it the way it is then you just merge it merge and center it then it's going to look like this but you watch the video i believe you watch the video and you learn more and more when you watch the video and see how you can do it by yourself believe me you can do it and it's very simple learn to create a table similar to this all difficult uh, too very difficult that this one is going to be great inshallah mm -hmm. thank you so much for today i see i see we can uh, i think we can see tomorrow i'll upload the video for you and drop the link if you didn't see it after one hour or just one hour by 10 30 if you didn't see the link of the video please somebody should talk to me in the uh private then i'll drop the link for you so that you watch it and learn more and more and more and more thank you so much for today have a wonderful dream bye bye